Back at Old Faithful, it's now a waiting game for me and the team. All we can do is keep checking the traps. It's dawn again, and me and Terry head for the trap opposite the campsite. As we get closer, we can see there's a croc in the net. It's him. First job's to get a top jaw rope on. I'll just utilise a stick. That way when he crunches down on it, it'll break and it won't hurt the crocodile. I've got to try and feed it in between his jaws. The top jaw rope's vital for getting control over this huge animal. Nothing, dude. Yeah. It's a very intense moment. The chance to try something nobody's ever tried before. Normally, nuisance crocs are shot, locked up or relocated to a more remote area. Even that doesn't work. Crocs have superb homing instincts and will travel hundreds of miles back to their own territory. But if my hunch about being able to change their behaviour is right, we'll be able to leave them safely where they are and that's good news for humans and for crocs. Of course, he doesn't know that and right now he's got his jaws wide open in the attack position. He's gonna go, I think. Here we go. You're all right, mate. They don't fight often, but when they do, it's explosive power. And that's where this top jaw rope comes in really handy. Here comes me team. Give us a hand to get the barricade off, fellas. Barry's bought reinforcements. The more muscle power, the better. We need to... We just need a moment to be sure what's the best thing to do. We were gonna build an enclosure to hold our croc overnight, but looking at him now, he's just too big. What I think we'll do, mate, is... The most important thing is to cause him as little stress as possible. Despite their size, crocs are particularly sensitive to stress. They're designed for short, sharp bursts of action. A long struggle can be fatal. That's one of the drawbacks of removing them from the wild. The journey alone can kill them. We decide to leave him right where he is. The other thing we don't want to do is sedate him. That's another good way to kill a croc. It puts his system under too much strain. Instead, we want to calm him down as quickly and naturally as possible. Through here, Wes. Okay, now, make sure you can clear it and just let it drop if I say. Gonna go. Here you go. Put the weight on, that's it, hold him. We got him. Good work, fellas. I'm gonna keep going. That's one flat pig. Okay, I'm happy. Let him down, Doug. Now that we've got him secured, settled and relaxed, quite comfortable I guess, we'll get some buckets of water and we'll cool him down, keep him moist, 
because we've decided to keep him overnight and we'll get lots of water in and around his cloacal region, wash all this dead pig around so there's no chance of infection and try and keep him as happy as a pig in mud. It's vital to keep his skin well watered. It's tough, but it can still dry out and crack. And a few hours in direct sunlight could be downright fatal. He's a reptile, so he can't regulate his own body temperature. We've bought a big tarpaulin to provide some shade. This is really nice and shady, quite cool with that breeze blowing through. It's important that we leave him alone now for a few hours just to let him relax. 